At Boorooloola, we find there's not much except fishing, expensive beer and diesel, and freezer burned meat in a supermarket. The comforts of home are conspicuously lacking out here. The reason we've taken these back roads is to visit the Lemon National Park. At 10,000 square kilometres, it's Australia's second largest and it was only announced in 2012. When we were here 20 years ago, information was hard to come by. All we knew was that there was a lost city, but we didn't know where. Now that it's a national park, it's become accessible. We actually went to Laurella Springs this morning, a million acre station that extends to the coast. It runs a commercial tourist operation. But when we got there we found, instead of promised wilderness, an awful lot of people. Well, I'm sure there was wilderness somewhere, but we left after the hour-long indoctrination, which we thought a fair indication of things to come. So here we are, in the Lemon National Park, on the edge of the southern lost city. It's late in the afternoon, and there's no one here, not a soul. We have it all for ourselves. <laughs>
was so much moisture in the air last night. We just woke up soaking wet. Everything was wet. What I find really interesting is that most people seem to have opted to go to Lorella Springs, which appears to be very nice, but it's full of people. If you want a good outback experience, this place is fabulous. And instead of paying $40 a night for two people, it costs $3.30 per person or $6.60 a night. And it's an honour system. You take an envelope, write a ticket out, put it on your car, and put the money in the envelope in this little post box. And I think that's really great. <laughs>